Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Cross Franklin Covey Greenwich Chrome Ballpoint Pen which I have it right here. So on this channel I do a variety of videos and I do have some uh, pen and notebook videos uh, which I'll provide uh, links in the description box below. So the first thing uh, I wanted to buy the pen because of its uh, attractive price point so this is a very uh, cheap pen uh, or very low cost pen uh, from cross which you wouldn't expect because if you buy you know or if you're looking at any other cross pens then they're usually uh, expensive not too expensive but this one is around uh, 10 12 dollars Canadian so that made me to buy this pen and try I have other cross pens and you know all of them are working fine never had any problem or anything and uh, I wanted to give this pen a try and see you know uh, whether the low cost pen is really worth uh, buying or this is a bad quality pen so the review is going to be totally uh, un uh, non-affiliated unbiased and honest because I do not have any affiliated links to click to make money off you so you can expect very honest review and true review so the pen came just like this uh, it looks like very simple box and then uh, this is the first time I'm going to be opening the box so let's take it out okay so this one looks like just you know a protect um, protective box for this box so I'm going to just you know put this aside there's nothing else here except you can see the model number of the pen and this is the Greenwich uh, series from uh, the Franklin Covey cross collection so let's put this aside here and we're going to go through some of the specs of this pen which I have it right here so the name is cross Franklin Covey Greenwich chrome ballpoint pen a little bit long name and then it has twist uh, mechanism uh, the designing is very simple and two-tone chrome and evening blue lacquer finish and it comes with a lifetime warranty and uh, the tip is medium 1.0 tip so put this here and let's take a look at the box here so the box is not actually a fancy box it's just you know a plain and simple box and looks like we have something right here so it's just giving you the name and the make of the pen and this is the blue lacquer with chrome finish okay so let's open this up okay I have a feeling that this is going to be okay so you can see Franklin Covey right here and they have actually a small instruction manual so here you can see that uh, full perpetual warranty which usually comes with I believe all cross pens and so they just provided some instructions you know how to open or how to change uh, the lid so it's just the same information in many languages set this aside and here let's uh, look at the pen and the box is just like this it's nothing fancy very simple boxing uh, but you know that's expected because of the price of the pen so here we have the Franklin Covey cross Greenwich chrome ballpoint pen So the first thing I'm noticing here is not that light as I was expecting. You know, I was thinking this is going to be a like you know light, poorly built, cheap quality pen, but it doesn't look like that way. So let's uh, take a look at it here. So if you want to like you know start writing, then you have to. This is a twist open pen, and uh, so you can see that you know when I twist it, the ball point comes out. 
and it goes back in and then you can see here the Franklin Covey is engraved let's see if the camera can catch it it may not be able to because of the shining light but I'll try to you know make it possible so camera can catch it and to change the refill let me just see how to open this okay so you know I just pulled it out and that looks like that's how you change the refill so this is the 0313 Franklin Covey medium refill and then it looks like fairly simple so you just put it back and then it's not difficult to change so you're just going to do a quick uh, writing test and see you know how it works so before I do that let's take a close look at the pen again so you see that you know the chrome finished here and then the evening blue and chrome uh, it gives you a very nice you know it gives you very nice looks it looks really like you know fancy but you cannot really tell that you know this is only 10 12 dollars pen and in terms of holding it uh, there's enough space here so when you hold it it feels very comfortable it doesn't feel like you know uncomfortable or anything so definitely this can work as a you know as an everyday pen or the pen you can keep with you all the time and because you know it's not too expensive even if you lose it it shouldn't be a big deal so let's see if it writes at the first time okay so it's writing fairly well and it writes very smoothly I cannot complain um, Okay, so if you can see that, you know, the writing experience is very smooth. Uh, there's nothing to complain about. And definitely, you know, it's worth the cost, although it's a low cost pen. So I'm surprised that, you know, you can uh, get this pen for so cheap and it still it delivers, you know, quality. And looks which are you know hard to match for this low cost uh, pen so I'm totally uh, happy and satisfied with the purchase and this is a cross pen so that's what I was expecting but I was not sure before buying that you know this is going to be uh, really like you know it can deliver uh, the quality and the smoothness of a cross pen because of its low cost but it looks like you know it does and then uh, definitely you know I'm happy with the product so thank you for watching this video again this is a non affiliated honest and true review there's no affiliated links no nothing forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you